Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. It's very stressful planning a wedding, so good luck to all of you. I'm happy you I don't have to do it again. I remember those <laughs> late nights you were all stressed out here. That's right, but it was totally worth it. And now you're going to be stressing out because we're getting snow tomorrow. Uh, this is a low stress a situation. low stress. Just only a couple inches, not a big deal. Not too bad then. Mm -hmm. I'm all right with it. It's so much so that I wanted to start out with a nice picture from today. Beautiful. Look at the blue Who sky. Who took that? I took it. Wonderful, Tyler. I, I took it, yes. Thanks. Well, I, I like to say there's nothing like a bluebird day above Whiteface. Just a beautiful shot there with the snow. And we have some fresh snow coming in for overnight and tomorrow. Now, it looks like it's snowing in southern Vermont. I haven't seen a report of snow yet in any of these areas like Manchester or Bennington. There may be a flurry, but the air is a little too dry for some of this to make it to the ground quite yet. But there is snow reported in Albany, Syracuse, Ithaca. And then you go out to the west, there's still snow for quite a ways here west of Chicago. So that's why it looks like it may only be an overnight thing, but it's not. It's going to last through much of the daylight hours tomorrow. But when you look at how much we're getting, you know, two or three inches, and then it's over all that time, that's a really light snow that we're talking about in terms of intensity. And all the visibility reports for here are 10 miles. That means there's nothing falling from the sky basically. So I think it starts after midnight and by tomorrow afternoon we're looking at one to three inches. We will have another messy mix on Thursday. So we're not able to string two all snow events together. We're in this pattern of snow and then mix and then snow and it seems to continue here for late February. It's cold enough. It's 15 in Montpelier. 9 at Montreal, 13 in Plattsburgh and Saranac Lake. Let's take a look at how it pans out here on Futurecast. This is 1 in the morning. The snow starting to come in. And then by first thing tomorrow, it's snowing just about everywhere. Just know that the northern edge here is basically the international border. So I could see a dusting, say, in Montreal and then maybe 4 inches in Bennington. But it's a small amount of snow spread over us as we go through tomorrow. The sun comes back on Tuesday. Even Wednesday looks pretty good in terms of sun, at least early on Wednesday before the clouds come back later in the day in advance of our next system. So here's the snowfall map. It's just a simple one to three inches. Someone might pop to four, especially in southern Vermont by later tomorrow. So Tuesday's quiet. Wednesday is quiet. But by Wednesday night, there's some snow starting to come in. It doesn't look like a lot and it switches over to the sleet and freezing rain and maybe plain rain mix here on Thursday. So that's something we'll definitely watch. But tonight the snow continues to overspread the region and for tomorrow it snows most of the daylight hours with temps around 20 in the Champlain Valley. There's the sun on Tuesday 18. Wednesday is good too. It's warmer 26. The clouds thicken up Wednesday afternoon. The mix is in here Wednesday night into Thursday. I don't think it lasts all day on Thursday, though. It's mainly in the morning and Friday and Saturday look good as we expand this out another five days to make it 10. Another mix there a week from today. So we have a, a lot of these wintry mix is in the forecast and only a little snow. Jen.